when life conquered land, one evolutionary innovation changed everything, the amniotic egg. It allowed vertebrates to reproduce away from water, giving rise to a new class of land dwellers, the amniotes. But soon after this breakthrough, the amniotes themselves split into two great lineages that would shape all future terrestrial life, the synapsids and the diapsids. Around 320 million years ago, in the lush swamps of the late Carboniferous, the earliest amniotes looked alike, small, lizard-like creatures with strong limbs and scales. Yet inside their skulls lay a subtle difference that would divide evolution forever. Synapsids had one temporal opening behind each eye, while diapsids had two. These openings were not random holes, they were attachments for powerful jaw muscles, shaping how each lineage would feed, move, and evolve. The synapsids took one evolutionary path, eventually producing forms like dimetrodon and the therapsids, the so-called mammal-like reptiles. From them, true mammals would arise, inheriting warm blood, fur, and parental care. The diapsids, on the other hand, diversified explosively. From their ranks came crocodiles, lizards, snakes, dinosaurs, and, in time, the only surviving dinosaurs, birds. This single skull difference created two worlds of evolution, one that would lead to mammals and ultimately to us, and another that would fill the planet with reptiles and birds. The story of amniotes, therefore, begins not with domination, but with divergence, two paths branching from one ancestor, both destined to rule the earth in their own time.